Welcome back everyone to this strange blue land, which I actually haven't visited in a while, so I'm glad to be back here, actually. Um, and today we're going to be going over some, some piston behavior, and yeah, I just kind of was experimenting around, and I thought, uh, yeah, I've got just got some in interesting results with uh, my piston, um, my, sort of mucking around with pistons, and... I thought you'd be curious to see the results. So, we've got a bunch of tests lined up, but we're going to start from the very first one I did and kind of work our way up. Um, so, what we've got here is, all right, we've got a sticky piston here, and with it set up like this, it will send a pulse through this block, but as the piston extends, so it'll send a very short pulse to this repeater, uh, which will power both of these pistons like a such as like a T flip flop piston. So it will extend and retract very, very quickly and leave the block out or pull the block back. Um, for some reason, it, you usually build them like this and then the redstone dust, but it wasn't working that way, which is a bit odd, uh, but it does, definitely works this way. And yeah, with this setup, you'd usually expect one piston to kind of, you know, dominate. So uh, say it was that piston, you expect only that piston to pull and push blocks and this piston to just not do anything. Uh, but the results may surprise you. So, uh, in fact, I'll get some sort of different, I'll get like a, a block of gold that's fairly, <laughs> don't have to throw my repeaters there. Get a block of gold that's fairly contrasting. And just watch the redstone lamps on the block of gold. All right, so the bottom one took precedence there. Uh, so you'd expect it to go and, oh, I just broke it, sorry. You expect this one for the piston to push out and it to leave the block there. And that's not what happened. This piston actually put it back. And what happens when we press it again? It cycles back to its first stage. So we can actually, with two pistons, we can get a three-way T flip-flop. And this is really, really cool. And I was really surprised to discover this. Uh, so, of course, I had to take it one step further. Uh, here we've got four outputs with three pistons. And the outputs are a little messed up. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. Uh, again, we'll do the gold block just for clarity. Um, so I'll grab a button actually, just so I can activate from the side, torches, such as this, and we'll try and get a good aerial view, so just watch it carefully guys. So that's the middle state, we go right, bottom, left, and back to middle. And what's interesting to note here, in this setup the bottom piston took precedence, as the first one that will pull the block back, in this one the right one actually did. So, you know, I was more than intrigued by this. I was very surprised by these results. Uh, so, of course, I had to take it one step further again. Here we have four pistons. And, by the way, all these pistons are being powered with the exact same delay, which is kind of the point of this setup. You can see all the exact same delay from this block. And, yeah, I had to wire this a bit messily, but they all have the exact same delay as usual. And I'll go the gold block again. And this time we'll start from the middle. So we'll hit it once. It's a little hard to see, so it goes bottom first this time again, just like that setup. This one right went first, these two bottom went first. Again, and we go left, I believe the next one's... Oh no, it's up, okay. Looks like we're working around in a circle. And it goes back to the middle, and then the bottom one will take precedence again. Uh, just, I just want to prove to you that it will cycle through indefinitely. Very, very consistently in an indefinite cycle. Endless cycle, should I say, not indefinite. So yeah, so that this is pretty much the biggest one you can possibly use. It, this is probably the most useful one because you can easily take four outputs from that. The five outputs from this are a bit harder to take out, uh, but you could use the middle one as sort of a null uh, sort of output if you wanted to. So I know this isn't really useful, but I wanted to try it anyway. This is all four directions and up. Uh, where's the block? Oh, here it is. Chuck it over the right one. There are no outputs in this because it was too hard to put them in, but we're just going to watch the block. All right, middle state. Let's go. Up up first. So it's just weird that this is just totally random, which one it pulls. So it was right, then this one was down, this one was right, and this one is up. So it's three different piston behaviors from very, very similar setups. So we've gone up, down, left, 
up, right. And I, I'll say north, south, east, west, actually, because that was a little confusing. Middle, north, south, west, up, and east. So, of course, I had to take it the final step. Get it in all six directions, of course. Let's do it. And we'll do it from here. So, I'll cycle it back to the center, because I want to start in the center. Alright, center. Which one takes precedence first? And right, and east takes precedence. Okay, this is... In this setup, it was north that took the precedence, wasn't it? Yep. And in when you add one piston, for some reason, it just cancels out this. It just makes it go to there. I find this really, really fascinating, actually. And down, so east, down. Up. West. So you've cycled through the four ones on this plane. And so it should go south or north or north and south. North, and this next one will be south. Yep, and then it'll go back to the middle. So, yeah, guys. <laughs> Just some... I'm not sure how useful this would be, but... It is a very, very useful way to make a three-way T flip-flop. You can just put two pistons like this, and you can have your three outputs very, very simply coming out. One, two, three. Uh, very, very easy to make a three-way, three-output T flip-flop. Well, well uh, sort of a, a button that will cycle through a couple of memory states, and you can enhance this by having you know, four memory states by doing this. Uh, you can technically have five here, but it's a bit harder to take them out, so probably you'd want to stick with... Um, this one at the maximum, uh, but ne nevertheless, nevertheless, should I <laughs> nevertheless, this is really cool, I think, so, yeah, just a little thing that I was kind of mucking around with, I kind of want to do a Blue World episode again, so, um, hope you enjoyed this little episode, guys, and uh, as you can tell, I've pretty much worked out my audio levels, it shouldn't be distorting, but it should be at a decent volume, hopefully, uh, so, hope you enjoyed this one, guys, and good to be back in Blue World, and uh, yeah, I'll catch you next time, guys.